So pets are of course uh, almost like family members, eh? but did you ever lost one? Uh, I have. Yeah, so we have here one with a solution for that. Um, and he's the inventor of the system called PIP. Um, yeah, you're in Boston right now. Uh, tell us what's PIP. So PIP is a small device. It attaches to your pet's collar. Uh, if your pet goes missing, you'll get alerted immediately on your smartphone. And with the press of a button, we'll be able to use the GPS in the device and the GPS in your phone to guide you turn by turn to your pet's location. That sounds great. And uh, what triggered you to develop a tracker? And how does it exactly work? Sure, yeah. So I actually uh, was inspired by my own dog. Oh! Who the device after. This That's is Pip. Pip. <laughs> uh, hi, Pip. <laughs> Welcome, Pip. 15 pound terrier mix. So shortly after we adopted him, he's going to go back to sleep. We, uh, <laughs> he, he went missing, and it was really terrifying. Uh, and so that's what created us to come up with this solution. And when I looked on the internet, everything was way too big, or the battery life was horrible. Um, so we tried to think of how can we make it smaller, and how can we extend the battery life. And that's when we came out with our solution to use Bluetooth low energy to determine the proximity between you and your pet, or your pet and your home. Okay. And when it's in that state, we can actually put the battery to yeah. sleep, and that allows us okay. to get 90 days battery life versus 10. Um, when uh, can we expect it? So we're on Kickstarter right now. Uh, we'll be <coughs> shipping the backers in June. That's the US version. Uh, the international version will be available in the middle of 2015. OK, looking forward to that. And if everything is possible, what is your dream for the future of PIP? Sure. I mean, our plan is to use PIP to connect your pet to the connected home. So you'd actually be able to use that same technology we use to put it to sleep to interact with other connected devices, such as a pet feeder that only feeds your pet at certain times. Right, right. Or, say, a dog door that only opens for your dog, and you can program to be open at different times yeah. for your cat than your dog. Well, I can, I can imagine the opportunities. Uh, thanks so much for sharing your story in Intutech, and, uh, well, good luck with the project.